Hey there, fellas. Welcome to Johnny Clyde Cooks. We're doing a little different tonight. We ain't eating from a restaurant. We're going to be cooking our own meal, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it so we can all make this dish together and enjoy it. We're going to be making a chicken enchilada dinner. Um, as you can see, we got all our ingredients here and uh, the chicken enchilada dinner, and we're going to have a uh, cheese sauce on top. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started with the boneless, skinless chicken breast. I got three breasts here. And I think it was about a pound and a half of breast. We are going to salt these bad boys. I use, like to use my little salt grinder here, get some freshly grounded salt. Probably gonna be making this here on the stove. Now some fresh cracked pepper. We got our canola oil going over here on the stove. It's getting nice and hot. We're at about a six out of 10 uh, on the heat. You can see, whoop, there we go. <laughs> That's what we look like there. Sorry, Johnny Clyde, I uh, forgot what's going on. Okay, now let's come over here. We're gonna take chicken breast. And the way Johnny Clyde was taught to do this is you put the pretty side, or the side that you want showing to the uh, the diner, the, the person eating your food, to be put down first. So let's start. And we're gonna start at the back of the pan. There we go. Woo! Ah. We are rumbling. Okay, we got all of our breasts on there. We're going to go ahead, salt and pepper these again on the other side. Got to put this on the other side, but we'll put it on there after we flip it. But this is the Tijan, if I'm saying that right, Classico. You can find that in your Mexican aisle uh, of your grocery store. We'll just cover the chicken in that. Okay, we've been going about a minute there, so we're gonna set our timer to 10 minutes. We've been going a minute, so we're gonna set it to nine minutes. I'm using an enamel cast iron skillet. I don't want to stick, so I'm going to, you know, move around a little bit first. Make sure we're good. We are good. Okay. Let's turn the heat down a tad. Okay. Let's move over and start making our queso. Hey there, fellas. We're back. We're going to start getting on our cheese topping, our queso topping. And let's start with an onion. We've got a yellow onion here. Let's cut the, the bottom and the top off there. We're gonna dispose of those. Get rid of get rid of a layer there. We're gonna use half of this in our queso, and the other half is gonna be in our uh, shredded chicken. When we shred this chicken, we're gonna put some enchilada sauce, sauce with it and cook it up. So we're only gonna use half of this onion in the queso. So we'll take that and we will move that over here with our cilantro. Okay. And I'm just going to pre-warn you, Johnny Cod is no French classically trained chef. So we're going to dice this in here as safely as possible. We got our super sharp knife, so we don't want to cut our fingers off. Okay, cut like so. And then, like so. So be careful, especially got your sharp knife there. And now, very sloppily, <laughs> chopping our onions. And Johnny Clyde's not the uh, cleanest cook. We got, we're gonna have onion bits, I'm sure, all over the floor and all over the counter after this is over with. Margaret's always like, why don't you be more careful and not make such a mess? Well, you know what? 
That's all I think about that. Okay. There's half our onion. We want it kind of finely chopped. You know, this is going to be in the queso. You don't want it real, real thick there. No big bits in our queso. Nobody wants that. Right? Okay. We're going to move that over to the side there. Okay. Now we're going to get our bell pepper. I'm going to go check on the chicken real quick. Oh, yeah. Margaret, bring that camera over here real quick. We are looking good. Okay. Let's go back to our sauce. Okay, we got our half of our yellow onion chopped up with medium-sized yellow onion. Now we're gonna run into our red bell pepper. And I chose red just for, I like the bell peppers, but I think the red's gonna look nice in our queso there. So we're gonna take that. You're not gonna cut it, just start chopping. You cut it kind of on the edge there. That way, no seeds, all the seeds are there. So we're gonna make our way around. And when you get down there, you know, let's clean up. All our seeds are in there. Okay, so then we're going to start chopping. You're supposed to kind of do your fingers like that so you don't slice them off, but, you know. <laughs> That's what old Matty Matheson taught me on the old uh, YouTube. If y'all like uh, cooking videos, you like some fun uh for mature audiences only he uses some bad language he ain't uh, as family friendly as old johnny cloud but i really watched him like watching him his name's maddie matheson he's really fun to watch on the old youtube does some cool recipes but enough about maddie this is about johnny cloud and you guys okay there we go there got those all sliced up long ways. Now, we want to do these kind of fine too. This is all going in our queso. And you know at the Mexican restaurant, it's not a whole lot of bits in there. You want it to be nice and flavorful, but we don't want any big bits of vegetables, you know. So, or I think a pepper is actually a fruit. It's not a vegetable. So we're gonna finally dice these. If you hear Johnny Clyde start screaming and seeing some blood, then uh, tell Margaret to call 911. Stop the filming. I tried to find the smallest bell pepper I could. Uh, they didn't have a great selection of red bell peppers up there. A lot of them weren't ready yet. So, you know, we did what we could. Um, and we'll see what this looks like in the sauce. This might be too much. You know, that's what's cool about cooking at home. You can add or subtract how much ever you want. But this is what we're starting with. Better to have extra than not enough when it comes to the old veggie prep. Okay, there's those. Now, these little boogers, I know they're not very big, but you will burn the fire out of your hands for a long time for the night if you don't be careful when you're making these, chopping these up there. This is already washed. I put washed everything before, so, uh, we could save some time here because we don't want to overcook anything. Our chicken's getting close to being done. So now we're going to split that. And we are going to be extra careful to not cut ourselves. And also, not touching this seeds and foam with this pepper too much. But let me tell you, it hurts. Okay, got a little seed in there, that's fine. Just want to get, woo! That just got in my eye. <laughs> like I said, be careful with the jalapenos. Keep it as far away from the face as possible. A little seed ain't gonna hurt. I really don't want to just be playing with that thing too much. Or we'll get ourselves into some trouble. Okay, so. Now the jalapenos. Up. And slice in half. Now we're going to cut it into strips like we did the other. And we're going to finally dice these. Okay, so there's our jalapenos. 
Okay. All that's ready, so let's stop and go back over to the chicken. Okay, we're back at the chicken. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good. We're gonna turn the heat down about halfway. We've already cooked the chicken for 10 minutes. we we flip all these bad boys. Another eight. We don't wanna overcook it. This is gonna get shredded and it's all gonna go back into the pan with uh, our enchilada sauce and some onions. We're gonna let it all simmer a little bit while we make our, our sauce. So let's move back over and uh, let's start our uh, cheese sauce. So we're gonna take our veggies now. And Johnny Clyde's gonna do this as completely as possible. Whoa, Margaret, you sneezing over there? Take our onions. Take our bell pepper, have those ready. I want to thank my brother for this uh, cutting board. He made it for me a few years ago. He's a carpenter. He made it a few years ago for me and gave it to me for Christmas. And he's like, you use my my cutting board? And I know he probably doesn't believe that I do, but uh, you can say we're using it. Maybe he'll watch my video if I use his stuff and promote his stuff. I think they call it cutting boards by Gooch's is his uh, nickname. There, so we got the veggies ready. We're gonna keep those there. And we're gonna start making our roux, which is gonna be uh, the first step in making our queso. So let's come back on over. First, I'm gonna add my third uh, cup of butter. Please pre-sliced, unsalted butter, Land of Lakes. We're gonna get that melting away. My seasonings. And we'll talk about these while that butter's getting heated up. Uh, so we have one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of dark chili powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of that tagine seasoning. We have uh, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of uh, fresh pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That stuff can be spicy, so we're only doing a quarter. And we're gonna add some more salt and pepper to taste, but that's gonna get us started there. Now let's just monitor our butter because you do not want to burn your roof. First time Johnny Claude made a roof, he burned it. Well, he didn't burn the roof. I was using plastic utensils and I started melting the, the utensil in the roof and that was not good. So we're gonna get our butter going. So you wanna stay on top of your roof. We don't wanna be burning that. We're about to flip our chicken here. We're gonna flip our chicken. We're gonna take it off the, the pan Okay, look at that. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. So turn it down a little more. We're about to finish off there. We got our roux going. Stay on top of your roux. You don't want it to burn. We're at, you know, about a four on the heat scale there. We got our butter all the way melted. So now we're gonna add a third cup of flour. You always do equal parts fat and flour when you're making a roux. This is gonna be a very light roux, you know, for your etouffees and your gumbos, you make a, not etouffee, for your gumbos, your uh, jambalaya, you'll make a darker roux, but we're making a cheese sauce. We're making a bechamel, and then that's gonna be turning into queso. So we're gonna let this cook for about a minute. We're at about two minutes on the microwave. So we'll just watch this for a minute. We're gonna stay on top of it, you know. Keep stirring, keep stirring. And at this point, you know, it's nice and hot. We are gonna go ahead and add in our veggies. They gotta cook out some, you know. So we're gonna add our veggies. This is what you would do with your, uh, when you make your trinity for your jambalaya, your Cajun cooking. You add your vegetables while your roux is nice and hot. We're gonna be adding milk here in a bit. Start making our white sauce. 
that's cooking out. We're actually gonna cook it out a little longer since uh, we added those veggies. We're gonna cook it out two minutes before we add our milk. See what it looks like on both sides there? Looks good. That little piece there, you can see it's done. Woo! Right off the burner. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for about eight minutes. It's gonna still cook on the inside. We want it to cook a little more for about eight minutes. And then, let's go ahead and set our eight minutes. And we're gonna get our enchilada sauce started in here. And we're gonna monitor our uh, queso. Now, we got our red enchilada sauce. Our chicken, we're going to shred it up and it's going to simmer in this, but we're going to go ahead and add this so we can get it going. Okay, we dumped some of the grease there. We're going to add some of our enchilada sauce. Whoa! Johnny Clyde made his first mess of the evening. <laughs> oh, oh, Margaret, our new towels. Sorry. <laughs> there we go there. I like the way... Our roux is looking and it's smelling. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little salt and pepper to it. I know we got ours over here, but you know we started with minimal salt. So we could add it along the way. Okay, we're at almost five minutes. I have three cups of whole milk. We're gonna start adding it slowly. Get one of these guys and try to get some of them chicken bits off the bottom of the pan, deglaze it a little bit. Have the sauce going. So we're gonna let this cook for about five minutes here with all the milk. And then we add the rest of the milk there. So we got three cups of milk in there. Stir her up. Oh man, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. So now we're gonna chop this onion up so we can have a little onion in our chicken. Start this here. Let them onions cook in our enchilada sauce. Okay. Okay. Now we're just kind of cooking and waiting. We're gonna add our seasonings now. Let those cook. We like to add the seasonings kind of earlier in the process because you know that's gonna uh, cook throughout the roux and cook throughout the milk. It's gonna be nice and tasty. It's already looking good. Okay, we got about a minute left uh, of this cooking here and then we're gonna add our cheese. And after we add our cheese, we're gonna go on over to the old chopping station and we're gonna shred our chicken and then we get the chicken shredded. We're going to put it back in our pan here, our skillet, with the onions and enchilada sauce. And it's going to simmer. We're going to turn the heat way down on our pot here. And uh, we're going to put the cheese in there and let it go. And Margaret's going to monitor that for me. And we're going to shred the chicken together while she does that. Okay. It's looking good. It's already looking like a queso. And start adding our cheese. Mexican Cheddar Jack. So that's what we're using for our queso is a Mexican Cheddar Jack. Okay, and there we go there. And now we'll start to stir that in. It's gonna be a little darker than what you may see at the restaurant. That's because we uh, we added the, the dark chili powder. We did a tablespoon of that, which I like. And then we also did uh, the paprika and the cayenne pepper. So you see, it's yellow, but it's got kind of like a like a little smoky flavor, I guess you would say. Hatch diced green chilies. We're gonna add those to our queso. Here, I love some hatch green chilies. So good. Okay, fellas, now we're gonna shred our chicken. Margaret's gonna monitor 
the old sauce. This chicken's done cooled for about eight minutes. So, away we go. We'll just start shredding. Okay, ready to move over. Okay, fellas, now time to add the shredded chicken to the enchilada sauce and onion. Add it in there. Add a little more. And then finish her off. The chicken. We're going to end up using all of this enchilada sauce. Go in there. Let's pour it all over in there. And we're going to let that simmer. We'll let that simmer. You can see our queso is looking real good. Okey Always take you a taste. We're going to blow pretty hard on this. Okay, it's tasting pretty good, but I think we need some more salt and pepper. A few twists of the old pepper shaker. Let that cook out some more and we're just actually just gonna stay on the stove until we get ready to use it okay guys the sauce is on the stove cooking the queso and the chicken is cooking in its own sauce the enchilada sauce it's been on there for what um about six or seven minutes cooking out we're gonna put it on for another 10 minutes let it keep cooking throughout the enchilada sauce we want it nice and tasty while we're waiting for that uh, chicken enchilada sauce to cook with the chicken, go ahead and set your oven to 350. We're going to want that preheated to go after we get these enchiladas all rolled up. Okay, guys, we got a little nonstick pan going here. We put a little canola oil. These corn, corn, corn tortillas are a little difficult to maneuver. They're pretty fragile. So we're going to get them uh, heated up a little bit to get them a little, this doesn't make sense, but a little harder, but to also make them where they're less crumbly. So this way they're going to be more malleable or we can actually roll them. You see, they're not breaking apart now. So you want to cook that just to get it a little golden like what we got here. I know they're already yellow, but uh, you want it to be a little flexible like so. So now it's not breaking. Like if you just took one right out of the package, it's just start rolling. It's going to break on you. We don't want that. So you're going to do that process and... Uh, just until you get enough for uh, how much ever mixture you're using. Okay, so now we've already got this pre-made here, but we get our cooked tortilla. We take our mixture. We put it kind of towards the edge of the end. You don't want to have it, you know, all in the middle. You want to roll it up like so. And there we go. There's our first enchilada. First one is in the pan. Okay, guys, we got our enchiladas rolled. We got 10 of them here that filled up the whole big old dish, and we still got more coming. We're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven here, to speed up the old process. So we're gonna put a little bit of oil on top of these just so they get a little crispy before we add our sauce. Wanna get a little crispy. Just dress them up like so. And we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven at 350. We're going to throw her in there for, hmm, starting out, we're going to throw her in there for about three minutes and we're going to check on her and then we're going to see what she looks like uh, after three minutes. If it needs longer, it needs longer. And we don't want them in there too terribly long, just long enough to 
get a little crisp on them, and then we're gonna add our queso and some shredded cheese on top, and it's gonna be nice and pretty. Okay, guys, the time has arrived. We got our sauce nice and hot still. We got our enchiladas. They've been in the oven for six minutes to get crispy. Put a little oil on them, put them in the oven for six minutes, get them crispy. Now we're gonna put some queso on these bad boys. We're gonna start a little light. Okay. I'm just gonna cover them up real nice. Don't wanna over sauce them. Now, got a little more cheese we're gonna sprinkle onto it. Just get her all covered. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna pop these back in the oven uh, at 350 and we're just gonna leave them in there until they're melted. The chicken's all good to go, the sauce is hot. We just want that cheese to get a little bubbly and crispy. And I am gonna go ahead, we're gonna do another episode making our own Spanish fries, but because this was so much stuff going on, we wanna talk about it. We're gonna just use Uncle Ben's Spanish rice. It's actually pretty good stuff. Uh, you just put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and you just slip this about two inches and we'll have this in the microwave ready. Okay, fellas, we have arrived. We just got the enchiladas out of the oven. They're still smoking a little bit because they're so hot, tasty. You can see, turned out great. And we have our big dish of 10 here, our big dish of six here. So really you could use less chicken. We used a pound and a half of chicken and this is what you get for a pound and a half of chicken. Simple meal to make at home, especially if you're not talking, you know. Just get everything, make sure all, all your stuff's prepped beforehand and uh, what it, it would take about an hour and a half an hour to an hour and a half if you did it by yourself and you know stayed on top of everything but can you guess how much this meal costs i'm gonna tell you it's a lot cheaper than going out and ordering all this all of this costs 25 dollars approximately for uh, 16 enchiladas and some rice uh, so let's go ahead and make her plate see what she looks like It is enchilada one. There is enchilada two. Got some rice, uh, our enchiladas ready. Just for a little garnish, you ain't gotta do this, but uh, if you do like cilantro, just a little garnish there, just make it look a little pretty. And here we go, let's take a bite. <sighs> them hit the spot. That's a 10 out of 10. I dare a restaurant to make it as good as this. Johnny Claus on point. Like I said, you can do this recipe a variety of ways. This is the way Johnny Claus likes to do it. You can minus or subtract some of these ingredients. The main thing is get your chicken cooked right, get your cheese sauce cooked right. The rest of it, you know, that's up to you. Well, thank you guys for tuning in and uh, hope y'all found this entertaining. And if you got any other dishes you'd like to see Johnny Claus cook, just hit me up in the comments, send me an email, DM, whatever you call it. Uh, but you guys have a good night. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share it to all your friends. Y'all have a good evening. Johnny Cloud out.